So the other day I was sketching this uh, beautiful skink, it's uh, the white skink, or as I often refer to it as Agernia whiteii, which is a scientific name. Um, I'm going to do a how to draw lizard, the Agernia whiteii, but I'm also going to combine it with how to draw a spider. So I'm going to do two separate how to draws, the lizard and the spider, I'm going to put them together and make a picture at the end of it. But first of all, how to draw a lizard. Okay, here we go. And here's the lizard I drew last time. That's my reference material. Now I'm going to go a little bit wild and use my imagination. I want to put a nice flowing, sweeping line through it. And this is where gesture drawing comes in. So, look at those curves. See what I'm doing here? Sort of scribbling. There are many different ways of approaching a drawing. I'm doing sweeping lines. Go that way, give him an extra long tail. Like he's sitting on his own tail. Or I might make the tail go like that and change my mind. So I have my long sweeping lines. Now what I'm going to do here those arms even, but those legs here like this. I'll put a toe up there. So, what I'm doing here is just trying to get it to look cool. Now, if you want to use shapes, here's sort of like a triangle shape here. And probably a squarish shape there. If you wanted to break it down into shapes, Oval shape there, and we're starting to get the shape of this guy. And there's his mouth, and I might draw his mouth open. And he's going to eat a spider. Now I'm running lines down the back here because this guy had patterns down his back. Okay. Working on this eye. The main feature of this guy is that he's got sort of white eyelids. And so I've got to get those in. About one, two, three lines there, just to make up a curve. It gives the shape of the eye. I'll do the same down here. So that's a one, two, three there. I could probably do the same here. And here we have the eye, which I should put a little white bit there. In, shade most of that in. Right. Above the eye here, we've got a bit of shadow. Bloody hell. Okay, that shadow goes to a pointy bit here. Which is then starting to go on the scales at the top of the head. Take a lot of notes here, so I'm sort of going on memory a bit. Do you remember there being a diamond shape like that? A couple of scales either side, a little bit like a snake. A 
should I here? Should I? I'm sort of darkening up the scales around the eyelids just to make the eyelids stand out a bit. Now, on this top lip here, we've got some nice big scales. Do them like so to make them shiny. I'll put a little bit of shade under each one. Probably putting a lot more detail on the head here than I normally do because. I want to see if it works or not. I don't want to invest a lot of time into something that's not going to work. It's like a nice spider munching lizard. Some bigger scales here. So the light's sort of shining on there, darkening up this side of the face a little bit. Here comes those it's like three little bits there. That was the scales that sort of are in the ear. Next we've got some spots coming down here. So random spots. And each one of those spots has got some dark scales around it. So almost like leopard spots. And between those spots, we also have dark spots. So I've got white spots and dark spots. Now here, lizards usually have hips. I sort of see a hip bone there, so I'm making sure that's in there before the tail. Now rather than draw every little scale in, I'm just going to do a bit of a cheap thing here, which is a bit of a crosshatch. Making sure I don't hit the white spots. So I just want to darken this bit here. Now I'm drawing the hands. Yeah, some nice claws here. Looks like curved teardrops. A little bit of a joint there. They have five fingers just like us on the front. Like a little monster's hand. Now, shadow under each one of those fingers. Go and have a shadow, check this out. Let's see how the difference the shadow makes. feet on lizards. By the way, a lot of them have a really long middle toe there. More shadow. Cross hatching and shadows. Now it's this pattern here that really makes the white skink. A white skink. Hatch the back here a bit more, very gently. Just give it some sort of texture. Okay, and do a shadow under here. Where the tail comes around here. 
and under there too. Quite a lot of the very well patterned lizards often don't have much pattern on the tail. Right, cross hatch the tail all the way around because I'm lazy. I'm actually using the eraser to rub away some bits. That's there to put in a shine. So I'm using it like I'm using white. You can get quite fine with the eraser if you use the sharp end. There is our lizard. Isn't he a beauty? And that's how I draw a lizard. Now the next uh, one is going to be how to draw a spider. I've already drawn one spider, but there are so many different types of spiders and it's something that I just really like. Spiders are just really cool to draw. So check out the next video, how to draw a spider.